What is up, guys? This is the part two. Uh, today is March 12, 2020. It's now 11.45 p.m. Um, this is part two of the first webinar that we did. So that's pretty much it. You know, we're waiting this trade out. We want to see how it reacts. Um, GU, I want to see how it reacts to. Now, if we can get some sort of candle closure towards the top side, then but I want to see how GU reacts as well. But uh, GCAP might be the move. Oh man. Oh man. Yo, none of you guys put me none of you guys told me about GCAT. Are you serious? I ain't even been looking at GCAT. All you guys see this and you guys don't tell me about GCAT? <laughs> All you guys see what's happening here? You don't what's happening here? Please someone tell me what's happening here. What's happening here? The rejection. Okay, well what are we looking for? Buys. One. I mean. When are we looking for buys? Because you can say buys, but if you went to up here, you're fucked. Because if this comes down, you're, you're, you're going to hold a trade for 200 to draw down? Of course not. So what are we looking for? All right, so now, all right, so this is what we understand. Like, Some let's bullish get, movement. Let's get directly into it. We clearly see that there's rejection. We clearly see that. Now, something I always preach. Anybody, okay, anybody that has a course or that knows me, knows I always say something. Filling in the wick. Price must fill the wick. We see this right. big wick here. Price must fill that wick. So now if we want to find a good entry purpose, what do we do? All right. So if measuring for a buy, low to high. And what's a good area that we want to enter off of? Fib levels. Folks, fib levels. This is a good area that I want to enter off of anywhere there. So now we have two options of what's going to happen here. Okay. So first option is this. If the H4 candle, so I can explain it to you. So where are we right now? Are we high or low? Um, we're high. We're we're high. high. Exactly. Yeah. Even though like price is on a low point, we're still at a high point. Right now, where current price is at, we are at a high point. And we see that. And we see price is creating what? What is price creating? We're, we're high in, in terms of an entry, but we're low in terms well, of... No, we're, we're high in terms of the range. Yeah. Think about it like this. We have a range, right? So I'll explain to you. So I'm going to do different colors. So in terms of ranges, in terms of that, like H4 range, we're at a, we're at a, in terms of the H4 range, we're at a high point. In terms of the daily range, we're at the low point. Exactly. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. But understanding where you're at in the market right now, we're high. So if price closes like this, if price closes there, what are we looking for? For market open during London. If price open there, closes if there? price closes right here, what are we looking for? We're looking for that rejection. What do you mean rejection? Um, a push down further. Push okay, down. so what are we looking for? Buys or sells? Sells. We're looking for those sells for right now. Yes, but we need to understand that, again, that sell is an intraday push. Because from here to here, how many pips is that? 139. That's more than enough pips. More than enough pips. So this is what I mean. You need to understand where you are in the market at all times. This is exactly what I mean by it. We clearly see that price is rejecting. Like it is clear as day that we have rejection. We all see that, right? I don't need to. I don't need to explain what lower highs are. Right. We see that, right? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. We see that. What type of candle is this? Hammer. This one. In inverted hammer. <laughs> inverted. Not hammer. an inverted hammer. Inverted hammer is this one. So an inverted hammer is bullish. What is this one? Shooting star? Yeah, exactly. You can call, yeah, it's a shooting star. And what does the shooting star tell you? That there was rejection and we're closing near the bottom, so we're expecting pushes. So right now, it's basically filling the wick. And, we're looking and what are we for, looking for? Sells or buys? Sells. Bingo. So if price closes like this for the H1 candle, so we have another hour and like 10 minutes. If it closes like that, what do I want, the, what do I want from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. to happen? From 1 a.m. to 2 a.m., I want to see a push up here and then i want to see sells that that pre-london push exactly and then i want to sell it and then once price comes around here what do i want to do we're we about to buy it exactly oh. that's what all i right. want bingo like it's just that simple but you have to know where you are in the market at all times yeah so it just depends this is why i'm saying it, it depends on what we do because now let's say the h4 candle now let's say the h4 candle closes up here 
What do I want to do then? Look for uh, a retest. We have. What are we looking for? A retest. To do what? For the previous area that is your growth. But to buy. to buy or sell? To buy. Exactly. So if price closes up here, then we're just looking for a break, retest, buy. That's yeah. why I always wait for the H4 candle because it tells me what I really want to know. You know, like it tells me if price wants to go here or price wants to go there. Because I've had numerous occasions where I've entered the cells prematurely and then between the last hour, price just closes bullish. Right, the same exactly. thing. If price closes bullish and it engulfs not the width but the body, I'm looking for longs as well. Why? Because it engulfed the body. It doesn't have to engulf the wick. Understand when it comes to candlestick analysis, the wick is a level of resistance and also the body is a level of resistance. It's two levels of resistances. It's two different things completely. You understand? Gotcha. So if you Got have it. a bullish candle and it engulfs the body, but not the wick, it's still engulf the body. So we're still looking for possible buys. So right. it just depends. If the candle closes like this, so if the H1 candle closes like this, then I'm looking for a spike into this wick area to then short it. And that's it. And it kind of makes sense with what I want for GU, which I said I kind of want to short to then buy. I, I want to see shorts to then buy. But the same thing, this is still respecting a pattern. And descending triangles are more what? Are they bullish or bearish? Ascending triangles? Descending triangles, are they more bullish oh. or bearish? Bearish? Bearish. Exactly. Because they continue to make lower highs. As long as the market continues to make lower highs, prices can continue to push down. So let's say we get a sell from here to here. Again, this is higher time frames. If you do it higher time frames, you're fine. Let's say we get a sell from here to here. How many pips is that? Isn't that our goal? Isn't that our goal? That's my goal. Day, man. That's my goal. You know, that's what I go for. And then now let's say it shoots down here, which is what I expect. And then this is like when it gets to advanced stuff. This is stuff that I don't really teach anymore because it just confuses the shit out of people and I got tired of explaining it, honestly. Like, I don't, I don't teach this anymore because it's just not, not that it's like one of my secrets that I don't teach people. It's just, it's just really hard to explain. So, like, I just stopped because it's really right. confusing. Try to simplify um, it as much as but, we can. Yeah, because it's just really confusing. But this is how the market moves. So, like, when you do fibs – okay, so when you do fibs – Understanding what a fib is, it's if measuring for a buy, low to high, and you're expecting price to push up. Negative 27 is your TP2, but typically the way that the market moves, it moves from negative 27 to 61%. So it's like, um, have you ever seen how the market really moves? If you have a double top, it, it typically goes like this on higher time frames. That's typically how it moves. And the right. reason why is because everybody has sales right here. Their stop loss gets hit, and then buy orders are here. Their stop loss gets hit. So the way to gauge it is using fibs. If measuring for a buy, low to high, and when negative 27 lines up, that's your point of entry. So again, it's complicated to understand. I'll probably I'll make a video on it one day, and I'll try to explain it. But it's gonna take like 20 videos to really like understand it. Um, but that's how the market moves. It just moves in extended M's and W's. Like this right here, I'm pretty sure if I did fish from here, like, let me see, let me find out. What is this? Show a quick example. Show a quick example, exactly. Yeah. So if I were to do fibs from, find the push. I think I skipped it. Ah, right, perfect. If I were to do fibs from, Um, in this case, it doesn't have it, but the case is not it. I could tell that's, I'm pretty sure if I do it somewhere, it's a negative 27. Like if, let me see if I do it from here to here. Oh yeah, I guess. Oh, right there. That, that would have been a good example, but I don't like it. Like I, I'd rather show you like live. I just can't find an example of it live. I think this is what GU is going to do. So. This is what I'm saying. So if everybody thinks that price is going to push towards the downside or like this area, you know, to create just a double bottom. But most people, if they go negative 80 pips, they're out of a trade, you know? So price likes to push it. So like for GU, what I really want to see for GU, and I'll show you, 
Like this is what this is what I this is what I personally want to see for GU. Yeah. Unless it just stops, you know, but if it were to reject, actually even bigger, H4 time frames. I would love to see something like this. And then followed by a big wick to then push it towards the top side. Now, again, if they just engulfs it, then that's just a different story, you know? But this is why I wait for the H4 time frame. It just, it just depends on like, it depends on how the H4 time frame looks like. You know, but I have all my options open. Like if it closes like this, I'm looking for this. If it closes like this, I'm looking for this. If GCAT closes like this, then I'm looking for this. Right. All my options are open, you know? Like I said, if GCAT closes like this, then I'm looking for sells. If GCAT closes up here, then I'm looking for buys. If GA, I'm really looking for buys. I already told you I want buys on GA. Like I want buys on GA. What do I want? If price closes like this, what am I looking to do? If price closes like this, what do we want? Till the wick. Exactly. So what, where are we going to enter? Are we going to enter here or down here? Down there. Yeah, exactly. And what people don't get, if you enter here, look, look where it's at, 199472. I don't know if you guys know how to count pips without doing the price tool, but 199472 to 19901 is 48 pips away. Now let's right. say we did it to 198. That's about 70. 70, right. Yeah. You know, so if you did it from here to here, that's the difference. That's the difference in just waiting for an intraday move because people yeah. don't get that. So and I don't have wait. no 70 pip stops. So. Nobody has 70 pip stops. Now, if you do, your, your TP better be a swing TP. Right. You know, there's nothing, worse, there's nothing worse than holding a, uh, holding a trade for negative 40 bucks. Listen, <laughs> and I mean this. There's nothing worse than holding a trade for negative 40 bucks, and as soon as it goes into profit, 15 bucks, you close it. That's the worst possible trade you can do. It honestly is because your risk to reward is horrible. You shouldn't hold <laughs> right. a trade for $30 negative. And when it goes up 10 bucks, you close it because you're scared that's going to go back negative. You shouldn't have done <laughs> the trade to begin with. You should feel confident about a trade. You get me now? Again, profits are profits, but even then, it shouldn't be to that extent. Like, um, no, that's true, bro. I've definitely done some goofy shit like that before. And I, I think we all have. <laughs> have. For real, though. Don't worry. <laughs> bro, I traded, I, traded the, uh, I traded the NASDAQ a few weeks ago. Like, this is like, the first time I ever traded it. And I was negative like sixty dollars, and as soon as it pulled up to like profit like two dollars, I closed down. Right, because yeah. he's like, I'm not trying to, I'm not bro, trying to I've get been, back to negative. Bro, I've been, uh, I've been trading since I was sixteen, and I'm twenty four, but like really taking it serious like the last year. Like I remember when Bitcoin came out, I was at like four twenty three, and. <laughs> And I had no idea what it was, and everybody was talking about it. I'm like, yo, fuck that nonsense. But all my trading at that time, like, I was 16, you know? Like, to be minus, floating minus 10 bucks was a big deal. Yeah. So, true, though. Um, it's true. I, I did that shit all the time. I would set a trade, and, and I would I would let it go down minus, you know, 2, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, and just close it at, like, 4 bucks in profit. <laughs> yeah, no, I get you. That makes sense. I'm going to show you guys another just, trade real quick, but, but what I was trying to say is like that, for example, like that's actually something that like, listen guys, like this is all about probabilities. Like trading is all a probability game. So the more probability you get on your favor, the better setup you get, you know, like right. it's, it's just probability. So you want to have all the odds in your table on your desk, you know? So you want to limit the amount of stupid trades you do. And, and I mean this every, and I mean this like, okay, everybody in their mom trades now. Okay. <laughs> you go on social media, everybody's a forex trader or at least dabbling into it. Right. Like, yeah. And I mean this, like if you see people that were in forex three years ago, they're not in it anymore. Why? Because it's just, it's, it's not easy to be consistent. Like that's my Definitely. thing. You got to be consistent with this. It's not just a one-time thing. And, and listen, and I'm not trying to talk like, um, okay. Do I think I'm like one of the best traders out there? A thousand percent. Like, honestly, like, I'm not trying to, like, rub my own ego. But when it comes to knowledge, I don't think people know more than me. I think people are more disciplined than me. Which if, actually, you don't believe in, if you don't believe in yourself the way you do, then you shouldn't be a trader. Exactly. You know, no, yeah, but that's but you not my problem. The best, it's like, like, when it yeah. comes to, like, like, my knowledge, I don't think anybody has more knowledge than me. I, I, and I really, like, I really mean that. But as far as discipline, I know people are a lot more disciplined than me, which actually hurts me more. You know, right. to say somebody's more disciplined than you, because that's, that's like true. a problem with your character. 
You know, I know people are more disciplined than me because bro, I've lost 40 K in a trade before I've lost like crazy amount of money when I didn't have to, like I've, I've had to pay bills and my bills are like 5k a month for that. Well, like $4,000 a month. And I've only had $5,000 to my name. And I put the $5,000 in a trading account instead of paying my bills. You know what I'm saying? And blown it. So that's the point. What I'm trying to say. Like, hey, that's some. It's about that's some balls, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, it's stupid. It's not even balls. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's, it's, it's risky. And it's, it's not. It's not smart. Because now you're smart. trading to make money instead but, of trading purely. Exactly. But but what I'm trying to say is like I'm saying this from experience. Like all these mistakes, I've made them. I still make mistakes too. Like don't think I'm perfect. I'm not. I still make mistakes all the time. Right. So all right, we're gonna go into GJ. You know, I don't really want to touch it, but we're going to go into it. Like, like I said, look, look at G. Look how G is closing right now. Yo, G was trying to, G was trying to make a name for itself. <laughs> yeah, I put a setup earlier in there for the buy. I don't know if you saw that, but as soon as I saw, like, these confirmations, I'm like, this thing's going to this is gonna go for a buy. Obviously, I do have my options still for a sell if it rejects that trend line. But it's just the way it's pushing and that momentum. Like you see, uh, like right there, you have it right there. Um, yeah. If this closes, I'm telling you guys, if this closes like this, that is we're such a thick G-Cap. candle. Look at how thick that thing is. If it closes <laughs> like that, we're buying you right now. Look at GU. Look at w- w- where we would have entered on GU down here. It was about two five three nine. I don't know if you guys noticed. It already shot up. You know, look at how look how this candle closed. It's closing yeah. nice, you know. It's closing nicely. It's closing good. It's, it's looking nice right now. So what do we want? We we're gonna wait until the H four kind of closes. If price closes like this, what do we want to do? We want to see a retracement because we see the price is gonna hit the trend line, and we want to get somewhere in here to then buy it. Does that make sense? GA's like the seven eighties. Holy shit! So let me show you GJ real quick. What do I want to see for GJ? So, personally, for me, for GJ, hmm. any Japanese yen pair, bro, I'm selling it, number one. <laughs> All of them. But if we're going to go into technicals, like, technically speaking, the real low point in the market is down here. That's number one. And price is pushing towards it extremely hard right now, extremely aggressively. If we look at the weekly, yeah, we have this big wick, but understand that today is basically Friday. And it's pretty much at the same closure as the previous week. Price is not going to retrace 700 pips tomorrow. There's no news. There's mm-hmm. nothing going to happen. So the likelihood is that it's going to close past this week, meaning that next week we're still looking at sales. Right. Get me? Now we'll go to the daily time frame. So now again, where are we located? At a low? Yes. Hello. We're at a low point. So just because it's at a low point means we're looking for buys doesn't mean it is a buy. Like, you right. throw that in. We're looking for buys doesn't mean it is a buy. Same thing for a high point. If we're at a high point, we're looking for sells. It doesn't mean that it is a sell. That just right. Only price could tell us but that. It is, but there needs to be more confirmations that it is. This, if we look to the left, there's no low anywhere to be seen. Like, right. there's no point of indecision where price is currently at. There's nothing. Yeah. Everything has already been broken. But what do I do see? I see a massive bearish and golfing candle, and I see a level of resistance here. So what do I right. want? I want price to retest mm-hmm. and then drop more. And that's yeah. the trade that I would take. Pretty simple. Super simple. Yeah. Nothing complicated about it. And there's nothing else that I want. That's all I want. Uh, Derek, do you see it breaking that trend line? I don't know if you see that. Not like no, no, 15 minutes. On the daily. Oh, which agenda? Say that again. Uh, Golden Baby, and I don't know if you ha- already have the trend line built in. Yeah, that trend. Do you see it breaking that trend line or no? Which trend line? Uh, the one. Uh, the one you just finished. The one just from the from the higher high, the last higher high, to the lower there. Uh-huh. Oh, that trend line. Yeah. So that trend line is not like the best one, to be honest with you. 
But uh, do I see it breaking it? No. Uh, nah, bro. I really don't like. Yeah, that's my question. No, nah, I don't think it will. Cause like, think about it. From from where price is currently at to being up here is three hundred pips. Price is not gonna do that today. <laughs> you know, it's it's not gonna do that today. So I, I personally don't believe that it will. To be honest with you, I don't believe that it will. But um, I have been wrong before. But again, I don't believe that it will. Um. So no, I don't think it's gonna break it. Just with like the whole tech coronavirus and stuff like that, uh, mm -hmm. the yen is like a safe haven. So if people don't know that, gold, yen, and Swiss franc are safe havens. Um, people like to dump a lot of money into that. I don't ask me like what makes. I I don't know. All I know is that the yen, the Swiss franc, and gold are safe havens. When shit is hitting the fan, people dump their money into those currencies. Yep. So that's just what they do. Um, again, don't know why, and that's it. So, like, GJ is not the cleanest for me, to be honest with you, but if I don't see any other setup, I have it. Like, this is why I have three, four setups at all times to see what I like. You know, mm -hmm. like I said, GA is still the cleanest for me. To me, personally, this is one I like. And then I like GCAT. I'm liking GCAT, bro. I'm liking GCAT heavy, to be honest with you. Because this is like a signature setup right here. Hold up. Jesus Christ. You know what? We're gonna do it. I'm selling G I'm selling G right now. <laughs> I'm selling G right now. Who well, gives you that confirmation? What do you I don't think it's breaking that high? Um were you on the last call, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I think we went over G I'll I'll go over it again. Oh no no no. Okay, okay. Gotcha. But it's the same confirmations that gave me it is the reason why. That massive lower wicks need that massive lower wick needs to get filled, and if we look at it, like when you have this type of setup, when, like this type of setup specifically, when it breaks, bro, it breaks heavy, hard, hard, but it's yeah. extremely hard, man. It breaks yeah. like, like hard, 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 like super hard. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the trade already. I don't even care. <laughs> I just <laughs> entered. You still in your GCAT GCAT sells? GCAT sells? I'm in GCAT sells, yeah. Yeah. This one we might have to wait out a bit, but I'm in GCAT sells. So, a little bit of summary for the night. Uh, GJ kind of looking like sells. We're just kind of waiting on, on like price action and possibly not even Honestly, an actual trade. Honestly, we're going to trade trade. It's gonna be We're not messing too much with GJ. Nah, just leave it alone because it's like it's like heavily correlated with gold as well. Not necessarily yeah. worth it. Um, yeah. GCAT. For and sure. then we got a uh, we got GA buys, GU buys. Possibly. Possibly, possibly. Looking, yeah, I got you, I got you. Possibly. GCAT seems like the cleanest, right? Right now, I'm in GCAT. Like, I'm in GCAT already. I'll wait for like the 1 a.m. closure. Like lately I've been making my goal to like just, just wait it out until like we get closer to London because I, I see ex exactly what you say all the time. You know, like if you don't wait, price just ends up retracing sometimes, you know, so yeah, I'll probably miss out on a couple if of- If you went to GCAT sales already, uh... Damn it, Derek. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, we're not up a lot, you know, but we are up. Well, I already made I already made like you know eighteen dollars, which is a pretty good like percentage growth on my account right now on GA. Nice. So to be honest with you, I don't even know if I should like if I should trade tonight. Like I should, I'm really trying to stay disciplined here. Nah, that's facts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants to have a great week, and if you ain't had a good week, you're trying to really get that last day in, like yo. Exactly. Yeah, and a lot of times <laughs> people blow money on Fridays, bro. I, I've typically blown all, no, my, all my profits on Fridays. I, I, I try to stay away from the Friday trading. It's just crazy how there's obviously certain Fridays where it's like 200, 300 pit pushes. It's like ridiculous. Yeah, and gold always tends to do extra shit for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> Fridays are uh, they're t they're tough, man. Yeah, I don't I don't understand why, but they just tend to do extra shit. But it's all good. I'm in GCAT sales, bro. I'm I'm in GCAT sales. <laughs> like, I'm telling yeah, you, like it's gonna melt. I already went, see it. Like I already I like know. how he just went straight for it. Gotta love it. 
No, that's, I already know it. It's, it's, that's the execution it's, shit you're talking about. Fuck yeah, I already, I already know it. Guys, if you would have met Derek before, like when friend? he was in, um, when he was training oh. earlier, he would. This is his favorite pair. Who? You, Derek. Oh, G Cas my favorite pair. Yeah, that's what. I, um. Well, it's one of my favorite pairs. Yeah. Yeah. GJ, I love GBP pairs, bro. Bro, GBP is just payout, man. Well, no, the payout sucks, uh, depending on the pair. But I'm saying, but, like, they just the move, they move pips, man. They yeah, pips, and, you know? and they're extremely, bro, this is such an easy move, bro. This is, like, tech, this is, like, yo, this is so freaking easy right now. That's a nice guy. Damn. No, 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 hey, no, I'm hey, telling you right now, part? by 1 o'clock, by 1 o'clock, this candle's going to be down here. It's going to be 20 pips up by 1 o'clock. Just hold this freaking trade, bro. Hey, Derek, what's this, what's the spread right. for you? What's my spread? Yeah, for GCAT. Like, it depends on the account size more, more than likely, right? Uh, yeah. No, this, your spread no is the, spread is all, the spread is all the same. It, it, uh, the spread doesn't matter. My spread is uh, 1.7 pips. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right uh, now, it's, like, fluctuating. Right now, it's moving. It's, like, 28. Yeah, okay. I was like, all right. I, no, the spread honestly, depends I really on the broker, that, not the account size. That's right. Yeah. Honestly, I thought that, bro. No joke. Oh, no, no, no. But you're good. Yeah, this is going to blow up. Look at it. Like, this is going to shoot down. Look at it. Like, yo, that's just an easy one. projection trade. off that, off that lower, that. Yeah, 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 this is game, this is game, this is game, this is game. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna even long it, honestly. This is easy, this is an easy money trade right now. Easy money, easy money, easy money. <laughs> yo, that's easy. <laughs> that's easy. I'm gonna tell my boy, he just funded like a, he just found like a five hundred dollar account out of nowhere, yeah. and like he 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 was dropping standards with it, and somehow he made three hundred bucks. <laughs> I don't even know how. Hold up. Uh, yeah, it so, is dropping. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're up. Yeah, oh, that's crazy. Yes, damn. That's crazy. <laughs> this man. Just I told you we're gonna, gonna be up two hundred. We're gonna be up twenty pips by the time this closes. I typically don't like trading like this either. Like I used to trade like this, but I just I get tired. I typically don't trade like this. I typically just I just typically just wait and I sit it out. But the move was there, and like honestly, I saw the rejection and I was like, Yeah, you see, you see, people can close the trade right now if you wanted to. Imagine, imagine your account's at a hundred and you dropped the point three. Mm -hmm. Bro, we got up here. Come on, man. But you guys understand why I called the sell? Yeah. Yep. I, yeah, I get it, bro. That's that was a great call. That's beautiful. What do you think is um, gold's next move? You think it's going to correlate and and correct itself? Bro, boy, that's Man. the wrong person when it comes. I think to it's going to keep that. happening. Or it's just. Uh, I honestly personally think I think it's gonna buy right now. I think gold is long all day. I ain't gonna lie, I should have entered where you guys entered. For <clears throat> GCAD? Yeah. Where'd you enter? I got it uh, I got it in uh eight eight fifty. That's fine. I thought you guys got, got it in probably like nine something, right? I got it in at ninety one. Yeah. Hold on, I'll tell you right now where I got in. Actually, no, I got in at 88.7, 88.5, and 87.80. So, no. I'm like, I actually am pretty sure gold's going along, to be honest with you. Looking how all these candles are going, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, like it's had like along. a really huge bearish. Actually, last two days. I'm days, pretty sure crazy. gold's going along, too. Derek, do you really want to do this right now? <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, don't do it. No, 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 no. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't do it right now. Just like, Start taking profit and shit. No, wait, wait till wait till London, cause I I see it coming down to fifteen fifty one, and then shooting right back up. That's if it if it holds if it doesn't hold this position right now. Where if it retests is fifteen, I have a strong feeling it's gonna blow up. <laughs> no, it probably will. I have this a very guy. strong feeling. Hey. Derek, what's what's it looking like right now in the four hour and one hour? For what the one, one hour, hour something buys. 
One hour I see y'all buys. This did exactly what I want. This this did the negative twenty seven that I've been like I told you guys about. Like if you do it from pretty much from like here to the previous low. Mm -hmm. It, it kind of did what I wanted. So now TP is at sixty one. Nice. So, uh, I'm biased. Fuck it. I don't care. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. Don't take I it. Don't take I, it. I, I'm in. I would take. I would take any of your of your trades blindly, bro. But for some reason, <laughs> I have never. And this is not on you. It's like whenever I personally kind of trade. You've gold, never made money gold on just, gold. It, it just has. Yeah, it just has like something against me, bro. Something. I'm no, staying. No, bro. That's how I am with oil. oil. No, fuck oil. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, all I, I know right now, all I know is that GA, we made mad money. GCAD, <laughs> we're gonna make mad money too. And in G and 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 gold, I'm gonna make mad money right now too. I'm I'm, I'm in it. I don't care. Are, are you still winning for GU? No, there's no point in entering GU. GCAD is okay. moving. I don't like to be too greedy with it. Yeah, you long, you long G, uh, gold. I'm in gold, bro. I'm in gold. I like the um. Screw it. Let's go in on a point zero one. See where it takes me. <laughs> I'm telling you, I see gold hitting fifteen seventy five. No, I can't even do a point zero one. I got traded for. You can. Well, how much is your? You can do. A, oh yeah, uh, point ten is the only you can do a trade. Point ten only, yeah. Hugo's, I can. I got. Yeah. I got Hugo's too. Bro, who took G -Cad? I did. I did. You guys are up. I'm up six bits. Yeah, I took I took GK. I closed, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm I'm good at I'm good at closing. Now why'd you close, man? <laughs> but look bad. at it. No, I'm being serious. Just look at no, it. No, it's true. It's true. Well, I mean, I can't re-enter, so now I have to wait. If anything, you can re-enter if you choose to. Just put a smaller position as compared to what you did. So if you do like a point ten, you can do like a point zero three. If this M thirty closes the car. If this M thirty closes, like. And just covers that candle like I'll re-enter. Yeah, I'm in gold. Oh, bro, I'm entering. I don't give a fuck. All right, bro, I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in, it. I'm in gold right now. Let's do it, bro. I'm just gonna win it out here. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna flip this account again. This is crazy. This I'm is set, crazy. Bro, I'm gonna set like a, my stuff. All I gotta say is I started this account because I, I withdrew money and I left 4K in it. I'm at 7200 mm -hmm. right now. Today. Hey, uh, there. I'm pretty good with setting up uh, stop losses for like forex pairs, but I always struggle with setting stop losses for gold. What's it your just moves too fast. The... On, to me, I have a 70 pip stop loss, but I have a 210 pip take profit. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm on a small lot size, so I don't mind. I don't mind losing 70 pips. I only lose like seven dollars. Um, uh, we're gonna enter gold too. What's what's your what's your stop loss on gold? Hold on, give me one second, bro. Bye. I'm pretty sure this account's gonna turn to like 15k today. Let's get it. Some other shit you can do. Like I follow a couple groups on. Um, what's it called? I don't know what happened. I just emailed my IRS password. But it, but it shouldn't be that big. Bro, GCAD, we're up. Look at GCAD, bro. Jesus. So I follow these two guys in Telegram. FGLT. Did you guys? Yeah. I'm, if you guys made money on GCAD, just post it up for me, please. Or if you made money on GA, anything, just post it up. Like a big ass fucking like check. Anything. If you guys made money on GA, GCAT, bro, GCAT, bro, GCAT. Come on, man. Hey, bro, I think we're going to get like a quick 30 pips on gold real quick. Watch this shit. I'm up on gold, yeah. I got in at 15.60.29, so. Um, yeah, this this thing should definitely hit fifteen sixty three at All least. Right, so you guys remember seeing my account, right? It was like at four thousand or whatever. Yeah, something, something nice. Yo, gold needs to take off. It's it's it's, it's acting like it's not trying to. I'm up. I'm up. Uh, it's at fifteen sixty one right now, gold. Mine must be late because it's still not there yet. No, gold's going to blow up. And I, I can show you why I called. So GCAD just hold it because GCAD's going to melt. The reason why I called gold, really, um, this is just price action. Price action. Like, just price action. Yeah. Price action is showing like bullish movement. Right here. Just this little, this little movement right here. Just this little yeah. tiny shit that it did right here is what gave it away. 
That little tiny thing is what gave it away to me. Because that's just a double bottom on a smaller time frame. Hold up. Yeah. Man. Honestly, if I catch 30 pips on this, I'm just going to exit. Look at what it did. That's it. That's what I want. I just want 30 pips. Bro. I'm doing a point 10, bro. I'm like super conservative on this account right now. And that's fine. Who went to gold, man? I did. I'm about, I'm about 20 pips up in gold right now. That's what I'm talking about. Kind of wishing I would have entered on a bigger line, but that's not good. Green. You're fine. We've like had a good way. little night so far. It's been a good night. Let's see. It's been a good night. All right, so again, uh, this is going to stop. Um, I'll do another video, I guess, on Sunday. We'll run it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys – okay, so again, first things first. GCAT, if GCAT closes like this on the H4 time frame – Wait for a wick to come back up, and then what are we going to do? Sell that bit. Sell it. Exactly. Sell it. Sell it. Okay? GU. If GU closes like this, what do we want to do as well? Come uh, up to them? To sell it. Sell that bit. Exactly. So GJ, it's whatever, but I don't really like it. I like GCAT, GU the most. And then gold? If gold can close like this, if I can get a bullish hammer to close on gold, what are we going to do? We're going to uh, buy it. Buy it again. We're going to wait. Wait, is it, buy do, you, it? do you expect a retracement though? No, nah, I don't. I expect it to coming up to 1570. Understand that the gold is at such a high pip range that it's, not, it's like in uncharted waters right now. <laughs> it's moving so fast. So like before, when it moved 10 pips, it's like 60 pips now. Cause it's just moving so fast. You know, our entry was down here. If this even closes like this, yo, that's buys, man. Like we already know, like that's simple. That's like 101 price action. That's a morning star variation to push towards the top side. You know, double bottom pattern is forming, push towards everything. Everything is like, like this needs to go up. Hold on, let me see this, let me see this. I just love how fast the pips are, bro. Like when Look you're right. This, I didn't even have the EMAs. If I had the EMAs, it, bro. <laughs> Yo, our bro, entry, we're already up thirty pips. You destroyed that cat so bro. I, yeah, it was nasty. I um I should have re-entered, but that was nasty, I'm not even lying. That was nasty. I um I'm just waiting to see if gold can actually Ooh. pass sixty four. Bro. Holy 1564 block. for like 1564 is the, is the actually, safe think I'm, actually think I'm gonna get steak and shake right now <laughs> I'm serious that shit's fucked yo I, I went to Wawa first time bro five wow Wawa wow, yeah, changes your life know? bro dude the smoothies fuck Wawa wow, changes your life oh yeah I don't know if you guys are in the raw area but I'm, a, I'm, in, I'm in Kendall there was one in Durham and everybody went crazy over it. The gas price is two hundred dollars there. How gas much? price is two hundred dollars. Not two hundred, two dollars. Oh two dollars. I yeah, was sorry. like, God damn boy, what do you stay? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, if you enter gold. Bro. Yo, I'm in. Yeah, I'm I got a good uh, yeah, I got a good thirty pits in there and that's I'm up twenty, I'm up twenty. I'm about, okay. Troll, look at what I'm about, I'm about, let's I'm go. about let's 30 go. pips in gold right now. I think let's I should go. just close the thing out, man. Let's go. No, yeah. no, no, no. We're not closing nothing out. Look how low it is. Look how low it is. nothing out. Look how low it is. You'll regret that tomorrow morning. <laughs> Bro, you guys are going to make me drop. You guys are going to make me drop a stand around this thing. And I'm not no, going to blame anybody. No, but just understand. All right, this is going to end really quick. Let me explain this to you really fast. You see how yesterday created this lower wick? Mm-hmm. And you see how today already created a lower wick? Mm -hmm. In the mm -hmm. first seven hours of the 24 hours, this is blowing up. This is blowing up. I'm telling you right now, this is blowing up, blowing up, blowing up. Like, just like quick confirmations before this thing dies. You know, weekly zone. I ain't gonna lie, I don't have patience to hold super long, but. It's hitting the ready EMA. Besides I'm that. I'm gonna take my pips if, if need out. be. Nah, 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 take your pips. money, bro. <laughs> At least 100 pips, bro. All right, guys, I'm out. Is it too late for me to, I'm a, is it, I'm is it for me to jump on on a higher on a higher? I'm posting price, this like video that. up. I'm posting both these videos up. All right, guys. Yo, okay. let that thing hit 64. I'm going to take my pins, bro. No more. Bro, it's right there.